How many of you um, up until Will It Blend had ever heard of a little company called Blends Tech? Okay, a few. Okay, what, what I want to do is I want to talk about Will It Blend and I want to talk about it in the forms of branding and brand awareness. And so um, what we've done is we're going to talk about brand awareness using viral marketing or social media. And I'm not smart enough. A lot of people talk about all kinds of fancy, you know, Web 2.0 and all of these really hard technical terms and all of this stuff. Guys, it's very simple, okay? This is stuff, social media is stuff that's been around for hundreds of years. It's the stuff that used to get talked about at the water cooler in the office. It's something when you find, wow, this is really cool, I ought to share this to my friends. Um, if you've got email, you've, you know, if you, somebody sends you an email and it's like, wow, this is great, you know what, so-and-so would really like this, you forward it along. That's all social media is, okay? So it, don't make it more complicated than it really is. Brand awareness, okay? Brand awareness is a critical thing for all businesses. People cannot buy your products unless they know that those products exist or those services. And so basically what we're doing is we're talking about brand awareness using social media. Will It Blend is the example that we chose um, to do at Blends Tech. And so it's kind of a fun little campaign. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to show you one of the Will It Blend videos. I'm hoping we've, everything's going to work out great with the audio, but this is the iPhone video. Those numbers on the bottom are basically millions of views. This has had over 5 million views on YouTube, and it's had over 6.4 million views on our willitblend.com site. And let's just see if we can watch this real quick. Will it blend? That is the question. I love my new iPhone. It does everything. But will it blend? That is the question. Let's find out. I think I'm going to push the smoothie button. I smoke. Don't breathe this. Now you fans on YouTube have asked me to blend an iPhone. So I did it. But I have another. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on eBay. Well, to, to continue on the story, we did put that on eBay. And we sold the blended iPhone for $1,000. Not bad, huh? The fun thing about it is we actually donated the proceeds of that to a children's hospital. And uh, so that was great. We had over a quarter million views on the auction on eBay for that. Now, the great story, even to follow that up a little farther, is uh, the gentleman who actually purchased that blended iPhone um, actually went to the children's hospital and did a little research, and, and he because of that, hooked up and ha actually made what they termed to be a sizable donation. So it was a great story. It was a great way for us to, to generate some awareness and to generate some fun. And guys, it all focuses on a blender, which is kind of the fun part about what we're doing here. And so basically, let me just tell you a little bit about Blendtec. Now you understand a little bit about Will It Blend. Let me tell you a little bit about how it all happens and, and why it was so amazing for social media for this to happen. Number one, Blendtec is a Utah manufacturer. Not a lot of companies uh, manufacture products in the state of Utah. Um, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's a small building here, right there nestled at the foot of the Wasatch Mountains. Um, we have about 180 employees. It's, it's not a huge place. Um, we've been making commercial blending products for quite some time. In fact, uh, we, a lot of times you, the frozen coffees, bars, all kinds of applications, uh, Jamba Ju all kinds of smoothie shops, you'll see our products, okay? And, and so we, we make wonderful, wonderful commercial products 
Um, this is an amazing machine called a blender dispenser with ice. Literally, uh, this is very popular with bars. You, you literally put ice in the hopper on the top. You put the blender jar in the container there. You push the button, and it will literally make a margarita, or it will make a daiquiri, or whatever, at the push of a button. All you have to do is pour it out and serve it. We also make amazing countertop blenders. And this is the kind of blender that you're going to see maybe at a smoothie shop or maybe at a coffee shop or something like that to make frozen blended drinks. We've made wonderful commercial products for years. The problem was we also made home products. Now, with our commercial products, we're in a B2B kind of a atmosphere, right? Business to business. Now, all of a sudden, we're B2C, business to consumer. And so how do you do that? Okay, it's a whole different ball game for marketing. And so we just didn't have a brand. People didn't know who we were. We made wonderful blenders. We also made wonderful uh, grain mills and other things like that, but nobody knew. Chief among them was our total blender. And it's a, it's a wonderful product. And so now all of a sudden, you know, we're looking at ourselves as a small company trying to build a brand, and we don't have the budget of Nike or General Mills or General Electric or these big mega brands. How in the world do you build that in today's world without huge, huge media buys? So just to recap, we had great products, weak branding. Sound familiar to your company? Maybe? Weak sales. As a result, if they don't know what your products are, how can they buy? And so now all of a sudden, here we come with a big idea. Will it blend? 